All right, today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix a problem when you start the vehicle on one of these Tech 2s, either a Chinese clone of the Tech 2, or if you've done the repair to the DC-DC converter that's on the Tech 2's printed circuit board. And I'll link a video up in the top about how to do that particular repair. But what happens is when you do that, you end up getting a situation where if you crank the vehicle, the Tech 2 restarts. And the reason for that is during engine cranking, the voltage level is going to drop down too low for the Tech 2 to maintain itself, and so it's going to do a reboot. Now, if you've just got this plugged in, you know, you might think, well, you know, if I come over and plug in the AC adapter, you know, maybe that'll supply power and avoid this problem, but it won't. It'll still happen. And the reason for this is the Tech 2 favors the power coming from the diagnostic link connector over the power coming from this. So how can you fix this problem? Well, I found out a pretty cheap way to do it is I picked up one of these um, on eBay, and I'll link this in the description. I picked up one of these extension cables, and all it's got is it's got a, it's got a switch in it. And the whole point of these is if you're going to use one of these uh, onboard diagnostic two type things that feed into your smartphone you don't want to drain the battery so they have these little cables with a power switch on them and so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use this cable in between it's got a female on one end and it's got a male on the other end apologize for the aircraft going over at the moment and all this guy does is at this point you know when we got it like this and we turn the power on here, if we shut this off, it's dead, right? So this is the power switch for the diagnostic link connector. And so what we're going to be able to do with this guy is if we shut off the power, so we see the Tech 2 is going to go dead, and then we supply power and we let it get booted up. Now, instead of taking the 12 volts from the diagnostic link connector, and, and, and instead it's taking it from the AC adapter. And now when we start the vehicle, we don't restart the Tech 2 anymore. That's the fix to this problem. It's very, you know, very, this is the most straightforward fix I can come up with. These cables are pretty cheap and they do the job. This here, I've got the AC adapter that came with the Tech 2. This could just as easily be the battery adapter. You know, you get an adapter when you buy these that plugs in here and also hooks up to your battery. Either one of those will work in combination with this cable so that you can cut out the power from the DLC and it'll be immune to this problem. Now just to show you that there's no, nothing odd here, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the key in and, and turn it to the run position. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just get into the actual diagnostics on this particular vehicle. This is a 98 truck. Just give me a moment here, three quarter ton, and we're just going to take a look at engine display. You know, maybe we were interested in monitoring something on this particular view that required us to crank the engine over. And normally this is where this is a problem. So now I can have this view, start the engine, pick up RPMs or whatever it is I'm looking at, and it doesn't restart. So this is all legit. If you got questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try to help you out. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Again, there's more detail if you want to understand about how this stuff all works and what's going on behind it in the video description that you can check out later. Thanks for watching.